Lovebirds in Canada. Real love isn't a crime, but marriage fraud is. To all Canadian citizens and permanent residents, be cautious about falling into the trap of a marriage of convenience and allowing a sponsored spouse or common law partner to immigrate to Canada deceitfully. It can lead to serious legal repercussions. How do they prove marriage fraud in Canada? IRCC or Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada have many ways to spot marriage fraud, including document checks, visits to people's homes, and interviews with both sponsors and applicants, Canadian citizens or permanent residents who are in a relationship of convenience of immigration reasons may be charged with a crime. What are the consequences of immigration fraud in Canada? This is considered fraud. If the fee paid with a credit card is reversed, your visa application could be cancelled or delayed. Your visa application could also be denied and you could potentially be banned from traveling to Canada for up to 10 years. Applications you submit in the future can also be impacted. Makes us less safe. Participating in marriage fraud can result in imprisonment of up to five years for those involved. Marriage fraud. If a Canadian citizen or permanent resident commit marriage fraud as a sponsor, they may be charged with a crime. If an applicant attempts to enter into a marriage of convenience, IRCC can charge them with crime, which can result in imprisonment and or fines. So, think before engaging into this. Seek an immigration law practitioner when sponsoring a spouse. This is Norlen Oligosarma, your licensed immigration law practitioner who specializes in spousal sponsorship and have processed too many spousal sponsorship with difficult cases that never had any experience for an interview but 99.9% .9 approval for permanent residency in the matter of spousal sponsorship.